Oh. Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. This rotisserie is so freaking good that it made me nerd out. Okay, this is a fair warning. One, if you are sensitive about people nerding out about things, I'm about to nerd out about barbecue and barbecue accessories, so don't watch this video. Second, this might come across as an ad. This video is sponsored by Kamada Joe, but I'm freaking loving this thing. This is the coolest thing they ever made. I already put it together. It's already sitting on my Kamado Joe Big Joe, and I'm gonna take you through it. This is the Kamado Joe basket kit. It is taking a rotisserie basket to the next level. And I'm not talking about barbecue equipment level, I'm talking about space level. Hello there. Things like you would never ever see on a barbecue accessory. The Joe Tissery in itself already is an awesome thing. You got a silent motor and this thing is running smooth and is super powerful. Now they added a feature that is crazy. And crazy compared to a normal rotisserie. I have now seen what I can have as an accessory. And it's literally crazy. Let me give you the first big surprise of this thing. Look at this latch. This is a spring-loaded latch. You can open it up, pull it back, grip the handle, and lift it out. We're talking about rotisserie basket. And look, there's the rotisserie basket frame. You can already see how special this thing is. If I take a look where the basket sits in, you can see the engineering that went into this. Look at these countersunk stainless screws. Look at the frame, the tubing, everything. Even the branding on it, it's freaking awesome. In my mind, it's something that you would never ever see on a normal grill. Of course, Kamada Joe's are up there, they're top spec. And then coming up with this, it totally fits. Now the basket. You got elements that you can easily remove with one hand, even when rotating. You can make the basket smaller, you can make the basket bigger. And if you're not digging the whole round thing, there are flat elements as well. You can even stand your rotisserie still and put your basket in like this and create a grill grate. Or if you don't want to use this element, you can also put a rotisserie pin straight through and stick it in right there. Now that's thinking about everything. And again, I do apologize for nerding out about this, but hands down, best rotisserie basket ever, and I'm gonna show you with this recipe. First thing is firing up the grill. I'm gonna remove the ashes from the last cook, put a little bit of charcoal in the back and the front of the barbecue. I bank the charcoal to the front and the back of the grill. That way, when the fat of the meat renders down, it drops down into the center without burning and causing flare-ups. I'm gonna wait for that charcoal to be fully lit, and then we're gonna start cooking. In the meantime, we're gonna do some prepping. And for the real star of this show, I selected this beautiful heritage pork pork belly. And you can see that it has a lot of meat on it. I'm gonna cube this up into big cubes. I'm gonna load these big chunks into a tray. And now it's time to make the Pitmaster X barbecue booster up. Starting with two tablespoons of dried beef stock, which comes in cubes like this. Followed by two tablespoons of fine table salt, two tablespoons of curcuma powder, otherwise known as turmeric, and finished off with two tablespoons of onion powder. I'm gonna mix it up and sprinkle it over my pork belly chunks. Oh. And that's three kilograms of pork belly boosted with the best barbecue rub you can find. I took my top off and... <laughs> <laughs> Not mine, the grills. I took the top of the grill so that we have a lot of airflow. And now I have those two banks of charcoal fully loaded, lit up, ready to go. So I'm gonna stick in my bracket and then it's time to place in the basket right onto the brackets and then click. Perfection. Okay, okay, okay. Look at this, look at this. Look at this latch. This is a spring loaded latch. Look at that. It just sits and it clicks on. Then I'm gonna open this up. Whoop. Load this up. There we go. And put the top on the basket. And I wanna have it sit in the highest position 
And I'm gonna turn it on and let that basket rotate. And the combination between a low fire, the basket rotating slowly is going to give a very crunchy and scruffy texture on the outside of those pork belly chunks. The pork belly has been on the rotisserie for an hour and now we have a beautiful crusty exterior on the pork belly. I'm gonna give these pork bellies another 10 minutes on the rotisserie while I'm gonna make a sauce to go on top. I'm gonna take my Scottsburg pan, warm it up, put in 200 milliliters of honey and 100 milliliters of sriracha sauce. And look at this, look, look, look. Click, hop, bam. <laughs> a basket full of goodness. These things are the perfect snack. And just put these in, in a little portion size tray like this. They crunched up absolutely perfect. Oh. That is a good looking snack and that's all made on that beautiful rotisserie basket. I told you I was gonna nerd out. <laughs> yeah.